are the triangles congruent? Why or why not? Here's your do now for today. Well, if I look at these two triangles and I take them and I separate them, I have this angle is double ticked or double swooshed. This angle down here is a double swoosh mark. This angle is a single swoosh and a single swoosh. So that's this angle and this angle. And then these two triangles share this side here. So the sides can go into this side. So are these two triangles congruent to each other? The answer is yes. Why? Because of angle, side, angle. I'll show it. Come over here, look at this picture. you got two sets of congruent sides, but also don't forget you have vertical angles. And we know that vertical angles are congruent. So these two triangles are congruent, yes, by side, angle, side postulate. And if I come over here to these two triangles, well, they have F and H have a single swoosh. This angle on both triangles has a double swoosh. If you separate these in your mind, can you see that they share side GI? So that has to be a third congruency. So these two triangles are congruent by the angle angle side theorem. Okay, what's a dilation? A dilation is when a figure is enlarged or reduced. Dilations create similar figures. So you're going to have a reduction if your scale factor is less than 1. You'll have an enlargement of the figure if the scale factor is greater than 1. So when I come over here and I look at my points, my original points A, B, and C, A is at negative 3, comma 3, B is at negative 3, comma, negative 3, and C is at 3 comma negative 3. All I have to do since my scale factor is 1 third, I take my original points, A, B, and C, and I multiply all the coordinates, all the x and y's, by a third. So A prime, negative 3 times a third is negative 1. And 3 times 1 third, or 1 third of 3, is 1. B prime is going to be at negative 1 comma negative 1, because negative 3 and negative 3 times 1 third is negative 1. And C prime, 1 third of 3 is 1, and negative 3, 1 third of that is negative 1. Okay, let's go plot these points. Negative 1, positive 1. Negative 1, negative 1. And 1, negative 1. A prime. B prime. C prime. If I look at the side lengths from B all the way up to C, that's 6. But the distance from B prime to C prime is just 2. What's a third of 6? 1 third of 6 is 2. So we know we did it correctly. Do you see how the side length's got a third smaller? A third of the length. So if I come over here, D, E, and F, 
D is at negative 1 comma 1. E, e is at negative 1 comma negative 1. And F is at 1 comma negative 1. Well, my scale factor is three. That means this thing is this shape is gonna the side lengths are gonna be three times larger. So I multiply all my coordinates by three. So d prime negative one times three is negative three, and one times three is three. E prime is gonna be at negative three comma negative three, and f prime is gonna be three comma negative three. Go plot those points. Negative three, three. Negative three, negative three. And three, negative three. D prime, E prime, F prime. Do you see how it got bigger, but it just kind of expanded away? Both of these pictures are in respect to the origin being the center of dilation, meaning the points are expanding away from the origin. So I'll pause this video now. I want you to do the next two examples on your own. The first example is half. So scale factor is half, so I'm just going to take all of these values and half them. So to get a prime, what's half of negative 3? That's negative 1.5. What's half of 4? That's 2. b prime, what's half of negative 3? That's negative 1.5. What's half of negative 3? That's negative 1.5. And then c prime, what's half of 2? That's 1. What's half of negative 3? That's negative 1.5. Now go graph these. Negative 1.5, 2. Negative 1.5, negative 1 and a half is all right here. 1 comma negative 1.5 is right here. Connect these together. You get A prime, B prime, C prime. You can see how they got smaller. If I compare the side lengths, B to C, the distance from B to C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the distance from B prime to C prime is 1, 2 and a half. And 2 and a half is half of 5, so it's how we knew we did a good job. Okay, come back down here, same thing. I want you to try this one on your own. Pause your video and try it on your own. H is at negative one comma negative one. I is at two comma negative one. J is at two comma one. To do your scale factor, scale factor is two and a half. H prime is going to be an enlargement. So what's negative one times two and a half? That's negative two point five. I prime. What's two times two and a half? 
that's going to be 5, negative 1 times 2.5 is negative 2.5, and 2 times 2.5 two is 5, and 1 times 2.5 is 2.5. So let's go ahead and plot these. Negative two and a half up down two and a half is right here. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and then down two and a half is right here. And then over five up two and a half is right here. Okay, because the original triangle did not go through the origin, you can kind of see how that's why the new triangle is not going through the origin either.